All right, here we go. We are live. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel. We love comics, and I have a book that some of you may know about, but many may not, and this is a book I really think if you missed the boat on the first appearance of this character, this is a book you would definitely want. Now, it's not a dollar comic, but you never know. You might find it in a dollar bin. Somebody may not know about it, so you might want to take a look, but it's not thousands of dollars. I think once this gets more mainstream, I think this book is going to rise in value. So, like I said, if you missed the opportunity on the first appearance of this character, which is now going in the thousands of dollars at this point, uh, this is an alternative and one that many people may not know about. So, I just want to make sure I let people know, if you have not placed your vote yet, go to the com uh, community section on my main page. Scroll down about three or four spots and you'll see the voting. If you want to cast your vote on which uh, comic you want me to send in for this month's four books that I will be sending in, it's a way to be a little bit more than just somebody that watches a video. You get to have your input into what gets sent out. So the top three of the five books will be sent. So cast your vote. This is the last week to be able to do that. I am doing my auction tomorrow night. It's either 8 or 9 p.m. Eastern Time. So uh, just stick, come around around 8 o'clock just to make sure. If there's any changes, I'll post it. I just got to make sure I have everything ready to go and done right. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have time to show the books and everything in advance, but it'll make it more uh, mysterious the day of the auction. So hopefully you'll check that out tomorrow night. And again, that is Eastern Time. Sign for the cashback program. There's a new program they're doing. If you sign up by clicking the link that I provide in the live chat or in the description, check. There's a bunch of other discount codes and things I offer in the description, so check them out. There's many things I don't talk about. But if you click on that sign up and you spend $25 or more within the first 90 days, you get a $25 cashback bonus. So it is definitely worth doing. So let me put on the video camera. And also, don't forget to stay until the end because I always do a surprise subscriber shout out. You don't even have to be a subscriber. The only requirement is you do have to be in the live chat. So if you have never seen one of my live chats, come on over and check it out. So let me put on the video camera. Give me a second. And the video camera's not working. Give me a second, let me try something. It's going to be very hard to see. There we go. I was going to say, it's going to be very hard to see if I uh, don't have the video camera working. So there we go. All right, so here is the box. It is not open yet. I'm going to open it with you. And this is definitely, in my opinion, a book that you should own, especially if you do not have the book that I've been telling people to get for a long time. This is technically... Well, I'll show it first. And then I'll get into deeper details. This is one I didn't know about until recently. But considering what some of the prices are now, I think I got a decent price on it. I don't go to the comic stores these days with all the stuff that's going on. So, well, pretty much I never really did that except for one comic book store when I was in New York. I like to do everything online. It's just easier for me but you do what you love and what's easier for you uh, they did some great packing and I love the fact that they use the right tape and they put the little tabs when I send my books I do it the same way because there's nothing more frustrating than trying to get rid of this tape because if they don't put enough protection the comic can bend while you're pulling off the tape so this person did a really good job and this one looks to be in 9.6 to 9.8 potential. So they put plenty of cardboard, so good job for that. All right, so let me show the book. And I want to thank the nine people already who have hit the like button. I appreciate it. I think they put an extra book. Let me see. No, okay, it's just a really thick book. All right, so here is the comic. It's technically not a comic, but I'm going to explain. This is Marvel Previews. This is issue number 94. Now, if you do not own Ultimate Fallout 4, and shame on you if you've been watching my channel 
for years and never paid attention to me telling you to buy Ultimate Fallout 4. This is technically not his first appearance because it's a preview, but it predates Ultimate Fallout 4. So a lot of these preview books are really starting to pick up steam, especially from people who may have missed the boat on the first appearances of certain comics, like, for example, Batman Adventures 12, and there's a bunch of others, even uh, Spawn Number 1. These books are starting to get hot. Now, this one, like I said, is in 9.6 to 9.8 potential. Obviously, I have to look at the whole book. This was given away for free at some point. It's not free anymore, but this is absolutely worth having. So this will show, and the funny part is, the cover that they show is actually Amazing Spider-Man, all new Spider-Man number one. They don't show his ultimate Fallout 4 appearance. So they show him in uh, full costume. So this predates Ultimate Fallout 4 and is a must-own, especially if you do not have Ultimate Fallout 4, but definitely a book that is going to, in my opinion, continue to rise. Like I said, it's not a first official appearance because it is a preview. Something has to be in a comic book to be canon and officially a first appearance. So this is not an appearance it's a preview of the book but again it predates ultimate fallout 4 so this book is roughly going for about 200 dollars and up there's a 9.8 of this graded for about 1200 um i don't know about spending that kind of money on this book but i mean you know you buy what you love um what's the issue number this is again it's marvel previews issue number 94 just look for Captain America. Let me see who else is on the cover. Thor and um, Iron Man. And you'll see the back, the bottom here. Ultimate Comics. So, uh, Patrick says they couldn't flip the book around in the bag and board for you. Eh, that's all right. I'm not worried about that. Let me take it out really quick. and show you see if we could find it but basically these are books obviously if you've been collecting for a while you know that these preview comics coming so let's see if we can find it so I'll show you I want to be careful but yeah I paid for this book a total of $150, which considering the going price right now that people are asking for it, this is actually a really decent deal. Now, obviously, if you're one of the people that used to get these previews all the time, you pretty much got it for free, but it doesn't matter what things were. I mean, look at books like uh, Umbrella's Free Comic Book Day book. You can't get that for free anymore. And as they say in a certain movie, I'd buy that for a dollar. All right, so where the heck is it? Here we go. I know it's in here somewhere because there is a graded copy about it. So again, you're going to find these for about $200 and up. I always tell people, wait for deals, try and make deals. Do not just buy the first book you see. Try and work with people on them. You never know. Sometimes things just pop up and end up. You'll get a good price. Jeez, where is this freaking thing? That'd be funny if people are all over the internet selling this and it's not even in here. But I doubt somebody would grade it with CGC if it did not have it. So it's just a matter of searching. Now watch it be like the last page. And we're getting close to the last page. Alright. Alright. I'm going to have to do some extra research. Because I do not see 
anything in here that shows the Miles Morales. That would be quite interesting. I'm going to go through this again. It might actually pay to open up a book. It might be a smaller little section that I might have missed. So we're going to go through this again. But that would be funny. Okay. So they are showing it right down here. Let me see. So Miles Morales is actually in the book right there. Let me see if that's the only thing. So they are showing the covers to the Ultimates. But that's quite interesting that they would consider that. Literally, it's not anything specifically for Miles Morales. They just show him in a picture with a bunch of the Ultimates. So I'm going to go through this. So technically he is in there. But that's for people to go crazy over something that is literally... You don't you wouldn't even know who he was and they just show an image of multiple people. Um that's pretty interesting. But he is technically in there. I was under the assumption the way people were talking about this book that he would have a full splash page on this. And yeah, Sequential Geek, of course, Ultimate Fallout 4 is the book to get. But keep in mind, there are many people that not, might not be able to spend $1,000 on a book now. Uh, that book, I've been telling people since 2016 to get. But, I mean, of course, Ultimate Fallout 4 is going to be the book to get. As a matter of fact, the 1 in 25 variant is the ultimate book to get. I had two, just sold one recently. I'm kicking myself for doing it, but I did make a promise. But I still have one of those left so the absolutely best book to get is the ultimate fallout 4 1 in 25 variant so yeah uh, i definitely understand that uf4 is the book to get but there's gonna be many people that cannot afford that book at this point so the idea is to try and get alternatives so that all new spider-man number one with miles morales's first um solo book that is absolutely a book to get Okay, so, I don't think anybody ever seriously looked in this book before. Okay, I did find more. So it's all the way at the end. There is a panel right here from Miles Morales. So, to be perfectly honest, it's not like a big splash page there are two little sections that show his image. So, it's not a lie when it says this predates Ultimate Fallout 4. So he is in there. But it's not as majorly a big a deal as some people are making it to be. But, again, cameos... I mean, look at Hulk 180. He's got one page on a comic. But remember, this is not a comic, it's a preview. So I wonder how many people actually have opened this book... Other than just saying, oh, you got to get it. So, at least you know it. he is in there in two panels. One is just a little coupon-sized like panel. And the other is just a group photo with him in it. So, you decide if you think that's worth it. I still think it is because it does predate. And as long as a character is in something, I mean, it doesn't matter how small it is, the person's still in it. So, I'll let you guys decide... On if you think this is worth getting. Like I said, if you cannot afford a uh, Ultimate Fallout 4, or you cannot afford the... Well, actually, the Spider-Man number one, the all-new Spider-Man number one, is probably going for about 150 roughly at this point, up between 100 and 150 That's still a good book to get. But, of course, like I said, this predates them both. So it might be something that you could add to your collection. Just don't overspend on it. So that is a book that I think you should have in your collection. Uh, I'm very happy to have it. I'm glad I checked it. And uh, now you could see 
what is in the book. So you can make the decision if you think it's worth it or not. And um, don't overpay on this book. I wouldn't pay more than 250 if it's high grade. But like I said, I only paid 150 So these things are definitely getting hotter, these preview books. Because uh, especially when people cannot afford and they miss the boat on first appearances, this is the next best thing. So there is a desirability factor in this. Uh, I would highly recommend if you're going to get this, make sure it's high grade. So like I said, this is um, easily a 9.6 to 9.8. And we'll see. I don't know if I'll ever get it graded. But hey, you never know. If this becomes a five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800 book, I might have to reconsider that. But still definitely glad to add that to my collection. Because I am a huge Miles Morales fan. I have been telling people since 2016 that he is going to be a major character. Unfortunately, most people didn't listen to me, and they're paying the price for those books right now. Um, I had about 12 to 15 of them. I actually, at one point, because I had so many, I gave some away. I put some in the mystery bag. So if you're one of the people that bought some of my mystery boxes, uh, you might want to recheck them, because there's probably one in there, because I only have about six or seven of them left. So, I mean, I, I bought them between 12 and $15 a piece. When I, and I told people that that was the book to get. I hope you listened, because you will be very happy if you did. But that's something to take a chance on if you never got that. Or you didn't see my channel at the time, or you didn't collect comics at that time. Doesn't matter what I said in 2016 if you didn't see it, or you weren't collecting comics. So you have to go with what you can do now. So remember, deals are always out there, so don't be afraid to look around. Don't don't go in with the mindset of, oh, I can't get it. Or, oh, it's not a, it's you know too expensive. You never know what's going to come your way. Um, so just keep trying, and you'll succeed if you put in the effort. So I want to thank the 21 people that hit the thumbs up. Hope you appreciated me opening the book and showing it to you. Uh, Sequential Geek, you're going to be one of my surprise subscriber shout-outs because you did absolutely the most uh, comments in the live chat. So thank you for that. And we're going to go with Matt Stadge. That's S-T-A-J, so forgive me if I mispronounce that. So, Matt, you are the second surprise subscriber shout-out. So, if either one of you have a YouTube channel and you want to share a link to your video or to your channel, you can do that. If you don't and you'd rather do um, sharing your social networks, like Facebook, Twitter, whatever, it's up to you. You can do that. And if you don't have that, you can always do the... Um, if you sell something on eBay or Inst not Instagram, well, actually, technically, if you sell on Instagram, but if you sell something, you could post a link to that. Now, just keep in mind, I do have to approve it, so it um, won't show up right away. But if it doesn't, if you look and see the link, it means it has been approved because I have to make sure I check them before I approve them to make sure they are suitable for all audiences. So that is my story, and I'm sticking to it. Thank you to the 24 people that hit the like button. Don't forget to. Uh, cast your vote. Go to the community section of my main page and cast a vote on which of the five comics you want to see get graded this month. That ends this week, so have your voice heard so you're more than a spectator. Give our shout-outs a shout-out. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell, and come check out my auction tomorrow night. It's Again, it's either going to be 8 p.m. Eastern Time or 9 p.m. Um, come around 8 o'clock just to make sure, but I will make sure I have the adjustment just in case if I need to switch it. So there might be that hour flexibility, so keep that in mind. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you appreciated it. Go get some deals, and don't forget, it is not you, it is not I, it is We Love Comics. Enjoy.